Oops, obviously pretty somber viewing for the supporters back at home, but um, how do you sum up that? Yeah, I think it was a game where pretty much everything was thrown at us. Uh, decisions, we lost two our second rows, both line-up callers, captain. Uh, so we were, you know, it was, it was adversity, which doesn't make up for some of the bits we showed in that game. So some of the defensive reads, uh, some of our options with the ball in hand, kick run pass, you know, not where we need it to be. So how do I sum up? Be obviously uh, disappointed and, and gutted with the scoreline. And um, obviously you took the players straight off into the change rooms afterwards, what was said to them? Yeah, like, what happens in the change room is, you know, there's an opportunity there to actually look each other in the eye. And like, those guys are disappointed, of course they are, but you know, at some point the responsibility, we've, we've got to show it and we've got to make sure that everyone as a group on and off the field, there's enough going into what we do to put in a performance which is better than that, even with all the adversity. Even with all the adversity, we have to be better than that. Um, and you know, what's next from this? Yeah, the obvious thing is like get ready to go again. Um, but you know, th there's you know we've got another eight Premiership games in a row. Um, so we go back, we go to Farley, and you know the work that we're doing, we obviously need to tweak it. We can't just keep doing the same thing. We need to tweak it, uh, and we've got to make sure that when we get back on the field on on the weekend against Quinns, then we've got energy and we're buzzing and ready to go.